All right, been a little while since I posted a video. Decided to uh, get this thing going. I finally ordered my kickstand that arrived, so I'm gonna get that installed. Looks like the the rear brake uh, foot pedal doesn't fit with the uh, the new foot peg kickstand set up, so I'll have to figure that out. Um, but with that said, I'm gonna get that installed um, so I have a place to put my feet. And then I'm gonna tune the carb to the best of my ability. It's only 45 degrees out. Um, but uh, I'd like to get this thing out on the road. I actually went ahead, tried to uh, license it here in Washington State, but they're a little backed up at Washington State Patrol. So I uh, sent all the information, the title information to Vermont. So I'm gonna give that, that uh, titling method a try. So hopefully here in the next couple of weeks, I'll get some license plates so I can get this thing out on the road legally. So uh, let's get started. So what I'm experiencing right now is a lack of power at the higher RPMs. It's actually pretty difficult to actually reach the higher RPMs. So what I'm gonna go through, uh, what I'm gonna do here is decrease the main jet and then take it for a ride, see if that works. I think for the most part, everything else should be fine. Um, so I'm gonna play with the main jet and then I might play with the, uh, the needle adjustment as well see just kind of troubleshoot what's going on so we'll see what works best all right so it's a couple days later um i uh i ordered a jet kit just some random jet kit on amazon it seemed to have good ratings so um got the jet kit today so we can put in some lower numbered main jets uh so we'll give that a try i think that's that's going to be the ticket so we'll uh we'll see how it goes here So it came with a 108, and I think I just have two jets that are smaller than that. Let's see if we can dig them out of here. So I'm just gonna go with the 105 and see what that does. So let's get this guy in there. Seems like a fit. Now this guy is a booger. I cannot get this stupid gasket to sit in there, right? This has been the toughest part about getting this thing jetted. It's having to work this stupid ass gasket in here every single time. I wish I had some gasket maker or a gasket sealant to throw in here get this stupid ass thing to stick. All right, so I just read that a heat gun can shrink a seal. So I don't know if that's true. I felt like it would actually get looser, but uh, I'm willing to give everything a shot because that is a big difference. And it's not stamped, so we'll see what it does here.
Well, it wasn't magic. It didn't do anything. Made it a little more loose. It's like, seriously, you get a little bit in the side here, you think you're doing good, and then bam, that side pops up. So you mess with that side a little bit, you get it pushed down, and then bam, more pops up. God damn it. That looks maybe good. Let me see if I can get it on there. Woo, it's on there. Maybe that is a trick. I don't know. It's definitely a little bit easier than it has been. All right, so I was able to reach top end a little easier, but uh, I think there's definitely a little more adjusting to do. You know, I, I played with the uh, air fuel mixture last time to see if slight adjustments there would work, and I might have it a little bit out of whack. Unfortunately, I made the uh, cardinal sin of adjusting that without remembering where it was in the first place. So we'll put this We'll put the 100 main jet in and see where that gets us. I'm assuming that's going to be the ticket. Hopefully, because it's the last jet we got. Ooh, went back together. Maybe that... Uh, Maybe that heat gun trick actually works. Probably help if I wasn't doing this out in 40 degree weather. But, be waiting a while if I wanted to wait for it to get nicer.
It's going up the driveway. Was it fun? Yeah. <laughs> so overall, uh, done for the most part with the carburetor. Might need some uh, adjusting on the uh, air fuel mixture screw, um, but it looks like the uh, the main jet uh, at 100 was uh, the ticket. Um, I can definitely hit the higher RPMs now. Um, I need to do a, a longer ride so I can properly break in the motor. I haven't been able to do anything, you know, over a couple of rides up and down the driveway. So I'm actually waiting for a license plate. I'm not sure if I'm going to be impatient enough and just take it out or wait for the license plate to show up. But uh, for the most part, almost there. So once I get it uh, out on the road, get it really tuned up, then I'm just going to break it all back down again uh, and get it painted and then it should be good to go. We should be done. So more to come. Thanks for watching.